is out. So, we're gonna go on a run today. All right, you guys, so we are on our way to the Green Springs Trail. I'm not sure if we're gonna just run the track today or if we're gonna run the trail today. Like I said, I'm not sure. I accidentally wore my new shoes and I'm not trying to get them all dirty. I mean, for the most part, they're black, but the bottom part is um, white, so trying to make these shoes last longer so I might just hit the track so the bottom of my shoes will turn red if I hit the track so I might just hit the trail and try and be careful of not running through too much mud all right so we are on our way to the Green Springs Trail um, literally about to turn the corner and be there um, not sure how far we're gonna run today um, I feel like I should run pretty far just because I've been like splurging out on a lot of junk food lately between Thanksgiving and then my birthday was the day before yesterday, which I ate a lot of junk food, and then obviously I've just been slacking with my dieting and stuff. So today we might end up running a lot, or we might not. It really just depends. Um, we still have to go and wash and clean out our car, and we have to do some of our schooling so we can get them certifications, you know, adulting stuff, but running is the uh, part of the day that makes me awake and feel good for all of the stuff I have to do. All right, so we're here. We're gonna finish drinking down our C4. We're gonna write in our journal, and then we're gonna get out there and we're gonna do some warm ups and we're gonna go running. And then after the fact, we might end up doing some something, maybe some pull ups over there. Um, because tonight, when we go to the gym, I believe it's back day. So, yeah, we'll probably go over there and do some pull ups. Um, we'll probably run a little bit and. Yeah, and then that's. Uh, what we got going on for now and then once I figure out what we're gonna do later I will uh, let y'all know um, just to put it out there you guys I know you guys get most of the talking videos on here on snapchat but unless you go to my actual YouTube or unless I decide to use snapchat to take smaller videos of my workouts you won't really see a lot of the um, action parts of my videos like me doing my workouts and stuff unless you go to my YouTube because you know it's been really complicated figuring you know it's easier to do all the talking on here on Snapchat, especially since I have friends and family on my Snapchat that, you know, watch and keep up with my life when they're not around, uh, or when I'm not around, but, uh, so it's a lot easier to do all the talking and explain my days here on Snapchat, but it's a lot easier to pull up the actual camera and get more time to videotape my workouts instead of just getting the 60 seconds. So a lot of stuff you guys won't even see unless you get on my YouTube, so just putting that out there. You guys should definitely go subscribe, look me up, Fitness with Nick, you'll see my logo that I put everywhere. Um, Otherwise, you might be able to just type in my name, Nicholas Reeve, and find me, though there is an old YouTube account that I previously didn't have access to that I just figured out how to get access to. So I'm thinking about turning that channel into something completely different, like product reviews, like with these things, or maybe reviewing some of the different cannabis strains that we get. So we're working on that. But otherwise, you guys go uh, catch me on YouTube and subscribe, like, interact, comment, let me know how you like my videos, what do you think I could be doing better, and all that good stuff. Man, you guys, it is so cold out here. <clears throat> um, so today we're going to be logging our miles with the Stop Soldier Suicide challenge that we're doing. It's a 100 mile challenge for December. Um, so today we're gonna be logging whatever miles we do out here on that and working towards our goal to get to 100 miles before um, January. Fifteen. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Activity started.
Distance, 1 mile. Duration, 11 minutes, 9 seconds. Pace, 11 minutes, 9 seconds per mile. 162 kilocalories burned. Well, I was about to tell you guys we're almost to a mile, but whew, looks like it beat me to it. Um, today is what I consider a footage day, which means my end time is not going to look so impressive because I'm going to be stopping and taking footage of certain things. All right, now that I've collected my breath a little bit, sorry. As we were saying, our end time isn't going to be as impressive as usual because we're going to be stopping and videotaping and getting footage, so that's going to be fun. You know, today's about running and about the Stop Soldier Suicide group. Oh, well, hello. Hold on, I'm coming. Well, hello there, pretties. How are you? Can I touch you? Yeah. You're such a pretty horse. How are... Ooh, don't you bite me. Hi, you gonna bite me too? I've been having that luck lately. Woo, with horses trying to bite me. We good? I'll be careful. Woo, all right. You're not friendly. I mean, you're friendly, but you don't want me to touch you right now, do you? You got big old, ooh, hello. I don't even know what you are. Are you a pony? Hey, I'm talking to you. Come here, I wanna say hello. Can I pet you? Your friends tried to bite me. Can I pet you? Hello. No, you're like, I'm just gonna mind my own business over here. Well, that's fine. Glad I got to meet you guys though, yeah. Your friends tried to bite me, but they're still cool. We're still cool. I swear, you guys, I need to start bringing, like, carrots with me. Start carrying a book bag with me and bring some carrots. I'm always seeing horses and stuff. Distance, 2 miles. Duration, 31 minutes, 46 seconds. Pace, 20 minutes, 37 seconds per mile. 357 kilocalories. Well, hello there, big fella. Can I pet you? Oh. Maybe next time. All right, you guys, check it out. The abandoned farm equipment. Wheat was usually trodden out by horses or oxen, and threshing machines were rare. By the mid-19th century, progressive farmers eagerly embraced improvements as they came along. Many bought farm machinery and joined agricultural societies where they shared their knowledge. This agricultural equipment was abandoned in the 1950s. Can you guess what they are? They are hay loaders used to gather hay or wheat from a field and loaded onto a hay truck. Now they said you can guess between horse or oxen which one carried these things. Unfortunately, I think these things are too old and weathered because I'm not sure. It says you can tell by looking at the hitch, but there ain't no hitch left. You guys, I found something. I don't know what it is. We're about to find out. Green Springs something lettering log. Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. Now that's curious. I wonder why that was left there, but I'm gonna leave it alone just in case somebody comes back for it. Apparently all this was the governor's land. Governor's land. In November 1618, the Virginia Company of London, under whose sponsorship the Virginia colony was founded, reserved a 3,000 acre tract near Jamestown for the use of the incumbent governor. That policy endured until the close of the American Revolution. During the early 17th century, the governor's land, which includes this site, abuted the James River and extended from Jamestown Island to Lake Passbahay. Hope I'm saying that right. In 1625, the governor's land, considered a suburb of Jamestown, was home to 75 men, women, and children. These 22 or more households compromised nearly a fourth of the people living in the territory known as James City. So boom, all these farms and fields and stuff we're all running through, this was all governor's land way, way back in the day. So, 
Here we are, we're about to get over here to this big old long wooden bridge, but I found something else. Beacon's Rebellion. In 1676, the colony became embroiled in the popular uprising known as Beacon's Rebellion. Due to conflicts between the frontier settlers and American Indians, the settlers asked Governor Berkeley's government for protection. Sorry, running and reading, hard to breathe. Um, fearful and frustrated by the lack of protection, they pursued or persuaded young Nathaniel Bacon, Nathaniel Bacon, to lead an expedition against the American Indians. Setting out in defiance of authority, he killed American Indians. Damn indiscriminately making no distinction between friend and foe. Later, Bacon and his men seized Green Spring and put Jamestown, the capital city, to the torch. After the rebel leader's death in October, Governor Berkeley gained the upper hand. Some of Bacon's followers were put on trial in Green Springs, at Green Springs, and hanged. All right, well, some of the people got um, served justice, but what about the other ones that they didn't mention? This is that long bridge I was talking about. Somebody's burning in their chimney, I can smell it. Um, you know, you guys, I really, really enjoy running through the swamp. Um, the air out here just feels so good. I mean, it just feels like it's fresh air. Just every breath you take in is a breath of fresh air. Plus, it's really pretty during the different seasons. Um, even right now, just the glare of the sky on the water looks really pretty in fall. When everything's turning orange and red and pink and all that, it looks really pretty. Um, summertime, you get to see all the ducks and geese and everything else out there and all the deer, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's definitely a totally different vibe every different season you come out here. I haven't yet come out here in the wintertime, like when it's snowing or anything. So if we get some snow this year, I'm definitely going to do that to come out here and be able to try and see just what everything looks like. I'm pretty sure this would look pretty sweet if it was frozen. And by the way, there's also another part across the swamp there where there's another bridge. And if you come out here, um, I'm not sure you know what's the best season or anything for it, but if you come out here during um, when the sun's going down and you just sit somewhere really quietly or make a really loud noise and then sit very quietly, it might take a while, but you'll get to see a beaver. Um, the beavers will come out, at least one of them, and check it out. You'll see one doing his thing. But if he spots you, he's going under and you won't never see him again. All right, so we're getting back to our car here soon in about maybe five, ten minutes. Um, we are at our 3.20 mile mark. Um, I don't know what it'll be. Distance, 3.2 miles. Duration, 59 minutes, 33 seconds, 586 kilocalories burned. For some reason, it decided to uh, tell me as I was explaining it. So there we go. Um, problem solved. Look at that sky, y'all. That's so pretty. Someday when I get good at painting and I start trying to pick up that hobby, I'm gonna learn how to paint a sky like that. All right, so today we got in, see how I write in the book. Um, we got in 3.32 miles. Um, took us forever because obviously we were recording and reading and stuff like that. Now it says max speed was 7.5 but I did a full on sprint just to see what my max speed is today and usually I don't do full on sprints like I did today and usually my max speed is somewhere around 8 point something so I think the bad signal because it says I got 5G but the bar is all the way down so I'm thinking that messed with my um, thing because even coming through the spot up here it said uh, GPS signal lost so I'm not sure all my stats are accurate today but anyways we made five miles on our stop soldier suicide log somebody or some bodies i'm not sure it doesn't tell me who but people have donated to the fundraiser uh, there's 20 dollars out of the 200 made for the fundraiser so far so that is awesome you guys that y'all are putting in towards a good cause for those of you who are wondering or didn't catch what the cause was it is stop soldier suicide you can find them on facebook you can look up their reviews on google I strongly believe that they're 100% legit and are who they say they are. Every dollar they make goes towards getting a veteran or a military person some kind of help or therapy so they don't end up doing something really bad like committing suicide. All right, you guys. Well, that's it for my video. I'm glad you guys are watching. Hoping you guys are subscribing and enjoying the videos. Until next time, folks.